I read the script, I was like, wow, this is going to be a great movie, wow. And it was very heart pounding, like every page, you know, you're just like, what is going to happen next? You'd go to some dark places and con considering what happens to this to this character, you know, it, it felt like everything that we found was honest. I can't let her find me like this. Six Below is the true story of Eric Lamarck, who was a pro hockey player for the Boston Bruins and started snowboarding all the time and being alone. And he went up to Mammoth Mountain and he got caught in a snowstorm at the end of the day and he gets totally lost. And for eight days, this man goes through the most unbelievable circumstances. Oh, this story is God. truly unbelievable. What do you want from me? Most ordinary mortals on a hill full of snow for eight days with coyotes and wolves chasing you and sub-zero temperatures and no food and very little water and injuries and frostbitten feet might give up the ghost, might have just laid down in the snow and, and, and died. This has been the coldest winter we've had in 10 years. Three, four days tops. That's the longest someone could survive out there in these conditions. I was glad to take on the torture because it was, we needed the audience to feel what it might have been like, and they can't do that without seeing what, what the character's really going through. So I wouldn't want to shy away from it. I mean, we weren't purposefully, like I said, not gratuitously looking to make it torturous. It was just, we wouldn't shy away from an honest representation of what happened or could have happened. You know, I think I approach everything authentically. It's a real story about a real person that I knew, and it's a message that I think is universal. I mean, there's hope, and you never give up. Until I got hit by something, I couldn't be. Exactly how long has it been since you last saw your son? Seven days. That's the longest someone could survive out there in these conditions. Three, four days top. What are you 